This is a quarter wave Marconi inverted L antenna working against ground. The multiple horizontal wires add capacitance to lower the resonant frequency. The actual radiating portion is the short vertical down lead that goes into the window. And this is how you operated on hundreds of meters wavelength quite efficiently without having to erect a quarter wave tower. Similarly, this is a quarter wave Marconi T antenna working against ocean ground. And again, it's the vertical section that radiates and it enables you to operate on very low frequencies. The quarter wave Marconi inverted L antenna using a single wire makes an excellent 160 meter resonant antenna. It easily fits on a city property. Uh, horizontal section in this case is 94 feet and the vertical section 35 feet for a total length of 129 feet and it's resonant right in the middle of the 160 meter band. It works against ground. I'm not using a counterpoise currently and it is showing an impedance of 50 ohms at 1885 kilohertz. No inductance or capacitance or tuner of any kind is required. The loading coil you see there is for broadcast band DXing. The standing wave ratio is under 1.4 to 1 from 1800 kilohertz to 2000 kilohertz and it's 1 to 1 at 1885. The following two video clips show the reception of 1580 CKDO in Oshawa, Ontario, which is 30 miles away from Toronto. And the first video clip is a dipole, 80 meters. And the second clip is the inverted L. It's a huge difference in signal strength and efficiency in receiving. The quarter wave Marconi inverted L antenna, a relic from the 1910s, is still relevant today.